Christy, new details have just been released in the plot to kill Tulsa County District Attorney Tim Harris. That plot was allegedly hatched among a group of inmates in the Tulsa County Jail, some of whom have ties to the 2008 murder of businessman Neil Sweeney. That plan was carried out by passing notes between inmates at the jail. Two News reporter Casey Roebuck is live in our newsroom with the new information. Casey. Well, Aaron's search warrant affidavits were filed with the court clerk this morning. They offer insight to alleged plot to kill Tim Harris as well as another man. Some of the men named in the documents have ties to the Neil Sweeney murder. The plot was allegedly in retaliation for Tim Harris's prosecution of the case. Alonzo Johnson is currently in the county jail in connection with the Sweeney murder. He's accused of plotting with fellow inmates Alexander Hall and Philip Summers to hire someone to kill Harris as well as Alan Shields. Shields recently entered a plea deal in which he agreed to testify against four co-defendants in the Sweeney murder. Fellow inmates Gerald Gaines and Dominic Walker are also alleged to have been involved in the plot. We received information that a plan was afoot uh, to, to kill uh, the district attorney, Tim Harris. So uh, we've been uh, involved in an investigation of that for, uh, for over a week now, and uh, we feel that it was a very credible threat. Philip Summers is said to be the middleman in the conspiracy. He is currently in the jail awaiting retrial in the double murders of Pless and Shelley Van. Summers is known to be a high-ranking member of the Hoover Crips. Police say he killed the Vans because their son was a member of a rival gang. Police say the investigation is ongoing. A source tells me Harris and his family remain under protection 24 hours a day. In the newsroom, Casey Roebuck, 2 News, works for you.